uh, today I'm here to present my study on impact of occupational related stress of nurses on their child learning practices and feeding practices. I'm Yogya Dananjani Gunatilaka from Faculty of uh, Light Health Sciences, University of Peradeniya. And I have done this uh, study and supervision of the Professor Aremudian Se, Faculty of Medicine, University of Peradeniya. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, briefly explain about my uh, background of the research. And as you all know, nursing uh, profession is considered as a stressful uh, occupation, and they have to work under difficult and unpleasant circ circumscribed. So uh, as well as they have to balance their uh, personal and the professional uh, responsibilities together. Uh, <laughs> if someone... Uh, someone doing this uh, income particle uh, responsibilities in same time, there may be a uh, work family conflicts as well. Uh, uh, also, if, they, uh, if the nurses have small children who cannot survive without their parents' assistance or support, then also nurses have to uh, provide their special attention uh, to their uh, children as well. So uh, this is the problem I have uh, get considered into my study. Uh, this is... Uh, my objectives, uh, I have done my study uh, with the main objective of uh, find the occupation related stress and it is uh, its intensity and how it uh, impact on uh, nurses child rearing and the feeding practices. Then uh, also uh, there are specific objectives for uh, find the causative factors of stress and how uh, child rearing attributes and feeding attributes vary with the stress level. And I have used uh, some literatures for uh, support my study. One of them is uh, already uh, told that uh, if my maternal employment uh, time is uh, high, they have less time to, to be with their uh, children. Another one is just that uh, if uh, as the parent are the most responsible person for their child care and adapt their to the society and for the a holistic life in the future. Then the maternal feeding practices also depend on uh, maternal pra parenting practices, psychology of mother, socioeconomic condition, and the education level of the mother. Then I found uh, the two classification of the uh, parenting style and the feeding practices as well. According to the Supaskaran and the Balasurya, there are four types of child rearing practices. Uh, first one is the authoritative. Uh, I would like to explain briefly uh, then to you all. Uh, authoritative parents usually uh, encourage uh, their children's autonomy and they always expect it to their children to be uh, self-regulated and they provide love, care and warmth and they provide guides and supplies for anticipated uh, goals and they always encourage open communication. But in the authoritarian uh, parenting style, they usually uh, practice rejection and punishments, and they are highly demanding. Then uh, forceful uh, psychological control are there, and also they uh, hope to obey their children to their rules and regulation without any simplifications. Then among the, the pers permissive uh, type of parenting, they are usually uh, allow their children to uh, freedom to express or actions and not over control psychologically or the physically. Then uh, they do not expect mature behavior from their children as well. Then neglectful uh, child rearing, uh, they have no time to be with their children and always try to uh, neglect them and no attention and sometimes lack monitoring as well. Then move to the uh, feeding practices of uh, child feeding practices. According to the Kimball, uh, forceful eat and restic, uh, restrict feed, monitoring and modeling are the four types they are already recognized. Uh, forceful eat is a type of uh, feeding. They uh, compel their ch children to eat something, then restrict it, uh, establish some limitation on feeding. And both of our less time consuming and type of controllable uh, attributes attributes toward the feeding. Then monitoring and the modeling are uh, usually uh, encourage the uh, preference of uh, children and uh, allow their choices. But uh, monitoring uh, feeding attributes, the parents uh, always try to strictly adhere to the monitor their children according to the standard uh, nutritional parameters, whether their children uh, have optimal nutrition and then modeling uh, parents uh, like to 
modify the environment and the type of foods to uh, enhance their uh, feeding. And I would like to move on to the methodology. My uh, study was exploited district to study and the nurses who have under five years old are participated in my uh, study from National Hospital Candy, teaching hospital Peradenia and Silmao Bandalanaka specialized children hospital Peradenia. And total number uh, of participants were uh, 84. I have calculated my sample size by using GFAR software. And uh, before the di distribution of the question, I have uh, performed a pretest to calculate the uh, combined alpha, and it was uh, 0 0.7, and it, is, it was acceptable to the uh, study. Then I uh, use a separate questionnaire on child uh, rearing practices, feeding practices, as well as the stress level. Then I use five font Likert scale to uh, evaluate the stress level and the uh, other uh, attributes as well. Uh, I have given five option for them to uh, express their experience with given factors. So for instance, no, never, rare, Sometimes, often, and very often, I have given, and also I have allocated some marks on marks on uh, as well. Uh, for instance, zero for never, and one mark for never, like that. Then I used a uh, statistical package of social sciences version twenty one for data analysis, and then uh, I find the frequencies uh, for stress level, and there was a normal distribution according to the Sapphire week test, and then I use VLS and correlation to find out the uh, find out the uh, correlation. Then you can uh, see here the result and the distribute uh, result and the discussion. Uh, in the first pie chart, uh, there is the nurses distribution from each hospital. You can see see here and uh, approximately same proportion were participated from each hospital uh, i'm sorry yeah i couldn't so the second pie chart because of technical error there was the stress level of the nurses i included here to another pie chart uh, i was calculated the pie chart uh, stress level according to this code that i have uh, used for the evaluate the stress level and uh, According to scale, they can score minimally zero and maximally 48. According to this stress uh, scale, I have categorized them into the three stress level. Uh, for instance, zero to uh, 16 marks, I included that nurses into mild stress and 17 to 32 are included into moderate stress. And then over 33 uh, marks are included into severe stress group. Here you can see the respond, NASA's respondent toward the given stress factors. Uh, in here, you can see in the last uh, column and the last uh, arrow, it is it is the uh, extreme stress causes. One is uh, nurses, and uh, you can see in the green column, and uh, nurses are stressed mostly due to the missing parenting responsibilities. Then, uh, then uh, secondly, the most uh, Prominent cause for the stress were uh, administration problem and the workload, uh, sh sh shortage of nurses and the facilities. Then uh, significantly, they are less stressed due to the conflict with others and the lack of support from the colleagues as well. Then I would like to move to the correlation between the stress level and the child rearing practices. Uh, I would say, uh, first of all, I would say I used a 0 0.01 as a significant level according to the software. And here you can see that uh, significant two correlation with the stress. There are a uh, negative correlation with authoritative uh, parenting and stress. And uh, authoritarian parent uh, shows the positive correlation with the stress. As literature says, uh, normally uh, working mothers usually practice punishment and uh, discipline uh, because they have less time, but they have to perform uh, their responsibilities to our children as well. Though th uh, then it is easy to use uh, authoritarian type parenting or uh, rather using other type of uh, time consuming uh, ch child rearing attributes. Then next, uh, next I like to move to the correlation between the stress level and the child rearing practices. Here you can see there is a positive correlation between the uh, forceful feeding and the stress level. There are also, the literature previously uh, said that the mothers who are working and stress usually practice, uh, tend to be practiced uh, forceful feeding because uh, they have to adhere with the limited time and it's comfort to uh, 
command them to eat because uh, rather uh, rather using other type of uh, parenting attributes i think uh, that's why here the positive correlation with the stress and the uh, forceful feeding and other thing is i found that is uh, modeling feeding is, this is a negative correlation but not significant uh, with the stress level they have no time and then uh, the modeling feeding attributes uh, were reduced then uh, I have found correlation between this child driving practices and the feeding practices. You can see here in the uh, yellow color, there is a positive correlation between the authoritarian parenting and the false food. Uh, again, it's because of uh, control and the false, uh, false food attributes because of the limited time. Then, the, according to the literature, there was, it is a normal phenomenon. Then uh, literature source, uh, some parents who uh, like to use permissive parenting practice also like to uh, practice restrict attributes. But here, uh, I couldn't found that kind of relationship, uh, uh, relationship between the, uh, from the nurses. But uh, I found a new correlation be uh, between authoritative and modeling, uh, modeling feeding practice among the nurses. I think it is because of the both uh, parenting and the feeding practices uh, are the promote children's uh, autonomy and they have time. So that's why here a uh, positive correlation, but uh, with the stress level, those both are reduced. Uh, next, I would like to uh, move to the conclusion of my study. Then uh, there's a stress uh, due to multitude causes, but uh, not so much due to the fear support and conflict. This is uh, main point I have identified through my study. Then I think uh, the workload, uh, short of, shortage of staff and the facilities can be addressed within inst uh, institutional level to reduce this level of nurses. As well as uh, the significant finding, uh, I would like to conclude here. Uh, the nurses shows uh, negative correlation with the modeling feeding and the authoritative feeding with the stress level as well as uh, there is a positive correlation with authoritarian parents uh, and the forceful feed with stress level. Uh, finally, I would say there is the impact uh, on child rearing practices and the feeding practices because of their stress level. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, sorry for your, Ms. Gundati Lekka. Thank you. Uh, now, are you leaving? Now, uh, this is open for the yes. questions and answers. Is there anybody like to give some comments? No, no, I mean. Is from audience, is there anybody? Dr. Vijita is there? No. Okay, I think uh, it's good. Uh, presentation and good uh, uh, title for the study regarding the parents who are entitling the in the workforce in the uh, healthcare system, especially in nurses. Um, then uh, I think uh, you are doing good uh, work on is it your degree thesis work? Hello. Yes, sir. Undergraduate um, project. Okay, okay. Yes, madam, it is undergraduate project. Undergraduate project. Okay, thank you for the contribution. Yeah. Okay. We show all the you. best. We show all the best. Then we will. Convenient with. Okay. Press. Okay. Thank okay. you.